When you try to access a file or folder or start a program, you receive an error message that says Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. If you are experiencing this issue, don't panic. In this video, we will show you how you can fix Windows cannot access the specified device path or file error. Solution 1. Check the permission of the file or folder you want to open. Right click on the file or folder that you wish to open and select properties. Click on the security tab. Under group or usernames, select your name, then click on edit button. Now under this column, uncheck all boxes for deny and make sure to check all boxes for allow and hit ok. Solution 2. Check the file location. You might get Windows cannot access the specified device path or file error if the shortcut or installation is attempting to access a location that is not currently available such as a networked or a removable drive. Right click on the shortcut and select properties. Click on the shortcut tab. Then you will see if the target location is available or not. If so, copy and paste it into your file explorer. If not, then the location path isn't available, in which case you need to reinstall the file or program again. Solution 3. Disable antivirus software. Sometimes your antivirus program detects safe files as suspicious files and prevents Windows from reading the file, and that could also lead to this error. So to fix this problem, you can temporarily disable your antivirus program and then try to open the file to see if it opens. When you have solved the problem, re-enable the antivirus program as soon as possible. Solution 4. Recover the folder or file if removed or deleted. Windows will not be able to access the specified device path or file if the files are removed, deleted or hidden. In such a situation, you can use advanced disk recovery software to recover the lost data in such a few simple clicks. To use this, download and install advanced disk recovery tool. You can also use the link given in the description box below. Once installed, select the areas to be scanned for deleted files and folders and click on start scan now. You can choose the method of scanning, quick or deep, and move further. Wait for the scanning process to get complete. Once the scanning is complete, it will show a list of all your deleted files that you can easily recover. Isn't it super easy? Hope you found this video helpful. If yes, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.